Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man that's going to be back inside competition here, Shamrock FC 331, as he looks to remain undefeated as an amateur Jackson. Uh, appreciate the time. As I was getting to, getting a little research on you, of course, obviously part of this story is about who your father was, but that's not where we're going to start. I yeah. got to know the origin of this nickname, the Lizard King. Where, where did this come from? Uh, I just liked uh, Jim Morrison, and uh, I mean, I I... I don't know. I relate to him a lot, I guess. And I grew up listening to the doors and stuff. So kind of just, and my friend, my friend uh, Spencer is also a big Jim Morrison fan. So he kind of gave me that nickname a little bit. Okay. I I was going to kind of sit there. I was going to say like, you didn't give yourself a nickname, did you? No, no, no. I took off with it after he called me it. And then that was it. Yeah, I, I was going through your Instagram. And I'm like, and, I, and I, I, I hit up the Shamrock PR guy. And I was like, I was like, is his nickname the Lizard King? Yeah, a couple, a couple of my teammates too. They uh, were like, what, what is it, Lizard King or Cowboy? I was like, which one do you guys like? And they said Lizard King. I said, okay, that's cool. And and when I with the nickname, my first thought was like, well, that's a unique MMA fire nickname. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. it. It let you stick out there a little bit, but but of course, obviously, the the big storyline with you is, is kind of this journey. Obviously, your father, an Olympic wrestler, so was was wrestling going MMA always in the cards for you, or did it kind of take some time for you to, to decide to go that route? Um, at first, I was thinking I was always going to go to college and stuff and do the normal route, but. Um... Man, I once I got to high school, I started thinking I was like these guys. A lot of guys are getting younger and younger, and uh, if you wait too long, dude, it's not. I mean, you only got so many years to try and do this stuff. So I want to take as much time as I can uh, to improve my uh, abilities and skills, man. So once you decided to go into this martial arts journey, what, was it something you immediately fell in love with, or, or did it take some time? Um. I think I slowly got into it. I love, I, I've always loved it. I've always loved uh, watching fights and stuff, but I think I uh, just uh, slowly learned to love jujitsu and learning to uh, love striking and stuff. And like, uh, I mean, learn, learn like uh, more of learning how to feel comfortable in those areas is what it was. Do you remember like the fir- one of the first fights you ever saw and, and what kind of got you into the sport? Uh, well, the first one that got me in the sport is, uh, my dad actually walked out Chuck Liddell for, uh, uh, he coached Chuck Liddell for Banderlei Silva fight. So those were one of like the first UFC fights I watched. I was like, uh, seven or eight years old. And I just remember like watching, uh, I think Matt Hughes was on my card too. I think he got on top and beat the crap out of somebody and i was like that's cool i was like you i you put legs in and just punch somebody i was like that's awesome and that's i learned to like it and of course you made your amateur debut back in 2019 like as you think about that first amateur fight back on uh april the 6th 2019 is there something about that that day that that still is in your memory to this day uh yeah just like how different everything was like uh it's way different than walking to the mat because you're, it's more like you're preparing for a, a battle, no matter like how, um, what your, what your competition is. It's totally different. You gotta go in there thinking you're, uh, ready to, uh, ready for war. And, uh, I, I liked it. It was, it was way, it was way more fun, way more intense than wrestling. So I liked it. And I guess the way I would describe your career is uh, you're not wasting any time in there. You know, you're, yeah. you're going in there getting now. I mean, we, we look at it, we've got the finishes in 28 seconds, 11 seconds, a minute, 31 and 40 seconds. So obviously there's not a lot of, of film for you to evaluate yourself on in competition. But like when you look at those three fights, is there something that you have taken from those four fights? Um. I mean, just I, I take more stuff out of my training. I feel like I think uh, competition is just the experience and just to get in there. And um, the more more competition I have, the better I'll be. But I think overall I'll get develop more skills through my training. And so whatever happens in the cage, um, I'm prepared for. I'm prepared for it to go to like three five-minute rounds or first round. I don't care. Um I'm just there to do my job and get in and out if I can. 
And now you got Jonah Andrews uh, coming up here at Shamrock FC 331. What's your thoughts on him as an opponent? Uh, I love it. Um, I'm glad. I, I, uh, I actually wanted to fight him last time, but um, I uh, decided to take another one, and then uh, uh, he that dude pulled out, so now I got I got the chance to fight him. And uh, I'm, I'm, re- I'm looking forward to it. He looks like he throws a lot, and uh, he's ready to fight too, so it'll be fun. Is there a reason you wanted to match up against him? Uh, just that he likes to likes to fight. He likes to bang. So that's the big that's the big thing. It's that he'll he's willing to throw hands with me. And, and of course, with the success that you've had here as an amateur, I'm sure the natural progression becomes is when is that pro debut going to come? I'm sure your your friends and family have probably been asking you that of like, hey man, when are we going to start fighting for some money? I mean, is that in your mindset, or is that one of those things that between you and your coaches, you're just kind of trying to figure out, you know, making sure that you, you're turning pro at the right time? That's that's more the angle. I'm looking to turn pro at the right time. Uh, and just i'm just having fun with it right now man i'm i'm uh looking to get as much experience as i can and uh just be the best i can be i I did notice on your instagram coaching kids and and wrestling i I saw there uh i've talked to other fighters who who coach whether it's you know kids teenagers adults and they always say that the one thing that, that sticks out to them about that is that they they um they understand how important fundamentals are in terms of being a coach and, and, and relating it to, to your, your fight game. Is that something that you've taken away from, from being a coach? Um, yeah, I, I've wrestled since I was a little kid, man. So, uh, I mean, I, uh, I just, I wrestle my dad all the time, so I'm still in, I'm still in the grind. I still, uh, I still wrestle every day and stuff. So, uh, I think the most thing I take, took away from coaching kids is, uh, I, I see a lot more stuff. I see stuff I didn't see before, and uh, it definitely made me a better wrestler as well as a better fighter. And uh, I'm able to add certain things to my game that um, uh, I can adapt into MMA from wrestling. What's the best piece of advice your dad's giving you? Ooh, uh, I've had a lot of advice from him, but uh, um, let's see. I always say consistency wins. Mm -hmm. So, um, always staying consistent in your life and, uh, training every day, every day life, uh, being consistent and, uh, just working your hardest out, working everybody. All right. Two fun ones before we get out of here. Favorite app on your phone. That's not social media related. Oh, oh, dang. I don't think I have one. Oh, that's not social media related. Like, is there maybe a game you like to play on your phone? On my phone. Uh, I play, uh. Oh, fan, yeah, fancy football. Okay, all right. So, yeah. All right, so you know we talked about earlier on in the interview about Jim Morrison. You, you, you love listening to him. So I, I got to imagine that if you walk to the gym, they tell you you, you got control of, of the speakers. Is Jim Morrison the type of music that's going on, or is there something else going on? We always listen to the doors at SEMA because Mike Rogers, that's the only thing he puts on. So okay. I love it. It's a, Yeah, it's funny. He listens to the same uh, music I do, so it's funny. Would there be uh, some, yeah. would there be something in your music playlist that your training partners would be surprised to know is in there? Uh we got weird people in my gym, dude. I don't <laughs> know. We all listen to the same music, so it's kind of funny. It's really weird. It's funny. They, I don't think anybody would be surprised now. <laughs> awesome, Jackson, man. I appreciate time. Uh, good luck here. Uh, come here, Shamrock FC three thirty one. Of course, let me know anything. Find on social media. Anything else you want to mention, man? Appreciate it. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Instagram handles at Jackson Henson five and that's it, man.